How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. Thanks for coming back if you're a subscriber. If you're not and this is your first time here, think about hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a new video if you're looking for the latest in whiskey news and bourbon reviews. So today, what I really want to do is review Old Grandad 114. And there's kind of a reason behind it. Uh, really want to review this one because this being the week of Thanksgiving, the first time I had this uh, was actually the week of Thanksgiving last year. And I remember thinking how nice and spicy it was and how perfect it was for a really cold November Thanksgiving night. So uh, let's get into it. All right guys, so a little bit about this bottle. This Kentucky Straight Bourbon is named for none other than bourbon legend Basil Hayden, uh, created by Basil Hayden's grandson, Colonel R.B. Hayden. Uh, this bourbon utilizes a high rye mash bill. Old Grandad is part of the Olds uh, in the Gene Bean portfolio, which is, also includes the Old Overholt rise as well. There's a cool little picture here of, uh, of Basil Hayden on the front of the bottle too. Kind of cool. Old Grandad 114 was the talk of the bourbon world in 2016. Uh, rumors were everywhere that Old Grandad 114 four was going to be discontinued by Jim Beam, but in the end, thankfully, all the rumors were not true and we can all still enjoy it, well, at least for now anyways. Uh, 114 is one of Jim Beam's three Old Grandad high rye bourbon offerings, all with similar mash bills as Jim Beam's old familiar, like this guy right here, Basil Hayden. Uh, this is the daddy of all the granddads with an ABV of 57%. The standard offering is 40% ABV, and the bottled and bond version, which is right here, is, as we all know, bottled and bonds come in at 100 proof. All right, so while you guys are getting a closer look at the bottle, uh, I'm gonna give you a little fun fact about this bourbon. Um, Old Grandad is actually mentioned in Ian Fleming's Live and Let Die novel as James Bond's bourbon of choice in his old-fashioned cocktail. Pretty cool. It can't be James Bond unless you can maybe drink like him a little bit. <laughs> this old granddad is bottled at 114 proof like we mentioned, but the mash bill is 63% corn, 27% rye, and 10% malted barley. Really good amount of rye in there. This is also a great price, coming in at an MSRP for around 25 to 30 bucks. All right guys, so as you can see, it's got that big 114 right here on the label. It's also got a nice little wax medallion on here that also has 114. Um, it's also on the top of the bottle. <laughs> so they definitely want you to know that this is 114 proof. So let's get into it guys. Let's pop it open. Oh, nice little pop there. Let's get a pour. It is Thanksgiving week, so I'm gonna celebrate a little bit here. All right. All right guys, let's get into this one. So first let's go with the color a little bit. Uh, nice bourbon color. It's got a, it's a little bit darker of a copper there. Really nice color. It's super, super viscous, really coating the glass nicely, really sticking very, very, very much. <laughs> I mean, if you could see it, it's, it's, it's really painting the glass really well. So, all right, let's get into the nose, guys. Here we go. Wow. Sweet, really powerful punch of alcohol in the nose there. You're getting some oak, some some really a really nice leather note on there too. So I used to uh, I used to uh, ride a motorcycle, and um, I remember going into the shop and smelling all the leather jackets and stuff. That's what it smells like that that new leather smell. Wow, caramel, a lot of caramel in there. Definitely getting that usual. So for me, uh, when I get a high rye mash bill or something with a lot of rye in it, or just a rye in general. Um, I get a lot of uh, orange and citrus on the nose, and I'm definitely getting that in here as well. Really good, really, I mean, there's, a, there's a really nice caramel flavor to this too on the nose, really nice. Definitely getting some brown sugar. A Little bit of uh, that, uh, it's like an orange and cinnamon mix on here on the nose too, it's really nice. Wow, all right. All right, guys, let's go to the palate. Cheers, happy Thanksgiving. Let's go in. Ooh, wow. <laughs> There's that ride kick. Mm, I love it. And this is why this will keep you warm on a, on a cold night. <laughs> And this is why, you know, it's a good amount of bourbons that I love, especially when a bourbon can take you back to a, you know, to a, a nice time that it reminds you of. And it does. When I first had this, 
I'm thinking about Thanksgiving now and everything that you know we had cooked and what we were eating. <laughs> and this was kind of the after dinner uh, drink that we had. Uh, you know, we were outside and kind of sipping on this. Definitely keeping keeping us warm. So this is a this is a nice uh, nice throwback. All right, back to the palate here. Here we go. Yeah, so up front, it is really, really mouth coating, really sweet on the palate. It, oh, it tastes like a uh, like one of those Werther's candies. Mm. It's got this buttery, buttery caramel flavor to it. Really good. A lot of oak, a lot of caramel, like I mentioned. Super sweet, more sweet than you would think it would be for something such a high proof. But you do feel the proof on this. It translates to the back of your palate and it's finishing really, really long with, a, uh, with that high proof as well. All right, let's go for another sip, guys. Mm. Yeah, okay. So as you keep sipping on it and your palate gets used to it, that's when you start pulling out more of those uh, specific rye notes. Like for me, like I mentioned, I get those, the orange, but you get like that minty hint of licorice type flavor too on the end there. Really good, it really takes you through all different types of flavors as you, as you start sipping on it. Like I said, the, the front starts really, really sweet, works its way back, you get that nice alcohol burn really long finish, then right on the end, you get a nice minty licorice sweetness. It's a really, it's, it's so good. And the flavors are really staying with me, really mouth coating. Let's go for one last sip, here we go. Yeah, so the finish on it is, it's really, really spicy. That, that high rye mash bill is really taking, um, really punching through on the end there. Now the licorice is kind of going away and it's becoming one of those, uh, you know, the little cinnamon red hot candies that you would get. It's getting more of a cinnamon burst now in the end, which is really, really nice. Mm. I love that on the finish. Definitely the brown sugar is still there, the sweetness, but that high rye mash bill, that kick on the end, it's really, really good. All right, guys, so what I want to do here with this one being it's uh, 114 proof is add a little water to it and see if it changes a little bit. Let's see if it, if it brings down that high spice kick, maybe if it mellows it out a little bit. Let's check it out. All right, it's going to add, let's do three drops of water. All right, guys, this has been sitting in the glass for maybe four to five minutes. So let's go into the nose and see what we got. All right, still, still very sweet on the nose, maybe even more so now. The alcohol has taken a little bit now, more of a back seat, which I think I expected. But now, now more of those rye spices are coming through, so I think the nose is actually offering more of a balance here with the, uh, with the little bit of water in it. Now you're getting sweet and rye spice rather than sweet and alcohol. It's kind of nice. All right, let's go into the palate, guys. Cheers. Mm. Okay, yeah, so, all right, so it's still, it's still very sweet on the front, but on the back end now, it's, it's definitely more rye spice coming through. I think you're kind of losing those layers of flavors uh, if you put a little bit of water in it, but it's definitely more pleasing, I think, for someone that doesn't want something with such a, a big alcohol burn to it. You know, because when it, when it doesn't have water in it, the 114, as delicious as it is, as it goes down, it can dry your palate out a little bit just because of the high alcohol. But with the water in it, it's, it's becoming a little bit more palatable, I think. And I think for most drinkers, it might be a little bit nicer. Um, but for me personally, you know, for really liking those, uh, those high proof bourbons, I think I definitely like it with the, uh, or without water, I should say. So, um, but either way, it's, it's a delicious dram and uh, still definitely taking me back to Thanksgiving last year. All right guys, so in conclusion, 
Old Grandad 114 is probably not the smoothest bourbon you're gonna find out there at 114 proof, and it definitely feels like 114 proof, especially when you're sipping on it. You get that real kind of uh, high alcohol burn on there. But if you let it open up and give it some time, the flavors to be found in this bottle, I think are really, really great. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, being 25 to 30 dollars MSRP, this is an absolute steal for any bourbon lover that wants to try a high proof bourbon without breaking the bank at all. So I really think if you see it, you should definitely, definitely pick it up. All right guys, well thanks for watching this episode of the Match and Drum Whiskey Room. Thanks for kind of uh, staying with me as I reminisce back to last year's Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, but it's what it's all about. So uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Um, hit that like button. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and you can also find me on Twitter. Love chatting with you guys. Let me know what you think about Old Grandad 114. Uh, if I haven't said it already, have a wonderful, safe, happy Thanksgiving. Sit down with your family, take a bourbon, take a scotch, take a whiskey, sit down with your family, slow down life a little bit, and uh, have a dram uh, by the fire. Keep yourself warm. <laughs> and as I always say, it is not about the whiskey, but especially now, it is the people you share it with. So happy Thanksgiving, folks, and I'll see you next time.